difficult to imagine worse weather conditions for an NCAA soccer final than those facing Navy and Michigan State here at Providence, Rhode Island today. Michigan State comes into today's game with a record of 10 wins and two ties, having defeated Army on this same field in a semifinal game Thursday, 3-2. Navy enters this 1965 NCAA final with an even more impressive record of 14 straight wins, defeating a fine St. Louis team Thursday in the other semifinal game 2-1. In so doing, gaining some measure of revenge for their loss to St. Louis in the finals at Rutgers in 1963. Today's game will be played in sub-freezing temperature with a biting north wind and a field encrusted with ice. Little or no traffic is moving in this portion of New England today, and it is indeed a mystery as to how the spectators present were able to reach this icy stadium by any means except possibly skates. Here we go. To start off with Navy kicking off. Navy in the dark uniforms. Michigan State's inside left moving up in the ball. Type of ball control today. Navy throw in. A head deflection. Schlegel trying to cross the ball over to Paul Zalario. But the ball is passed back nicely to the Michigan State goalie, Dimitro. There's Bucky Thompson. He lost the ball. He's going back on the play. He's staying with the man, as he should do, and he took it away from him. That's Bucky Thompson with the ball. He lays the ball through by checking. Here comes Jimmy Lewis, the goalie coming out, and a beautiful shot by Jimmy Lewis from about 13 yards out to put Navy ahead one to nothing. Only about four minutes to go. Look at that Navy group. And that's a ball game, and Navy has won the game. One to nothing. Shots. Navy had 16 to 11 from Michigan State for the 1964 champion, Navy. There's Gene Kenny receiving the second place trophy from the host school, Brown University's director of athletics. And there's Glenn Warner, the Navy coach, receiving the governor's trophy from the director of athletics from Brown. And there is the NCAA gold first place trophy, again being presented by the director of athletics from Brown to the Navy's coach, Glenn Warner. A really a great season. 15 straight wins, climax for the NCAA championship. And there's the happy Navy team, Paul Delary holding the Governor's Trophy, Myron Ura, who was selected as the outstanding play defensive player of the game, with the NCAA Gold Trophy. A great year for Navy, Jimmy Lewis directly in back with Ura. A happy bunch of lads.